is independent of the, uni of the uniform velocity of the frame. In other words, the law of physics must have the same form in every inertial frame. The corollary is that the speed Oh yeah, welcome back everybody. Week 42 of 2016 and this week we are up to a whopping 29 total reps on the Saturday, Sunday, Monday strength work, which is pushing that volume basically through the roof. <laughs> I'm setting volume records by the week, uh, but on that note, I actually think that um, next week, which is going to be the final high volume week of the cycle, is also going to be the final high volume week uh, pretty much for the rest of the year because uh, basically I'm getting tired yeah because if all uh, goes well next week uh, the target volume for the week would be like uh, over 175,000 pounds which would be like a huge PR uh, in that department and I think I'm actually going to uh, unwind for a bit uh, when I'm uh, doing both the two week taper uh, that follows each cycle, and I think when I go to the Southland for my holiday travels, I'm gonna not go with such high volume. I'm gonna do some different kind of things, um, both on my squats uh, and bench work, particularly because I like to take advantage of both the machines and the dumbbells that are available at the gym I use uh, that I don't have here. You know, uh, for example, uh, the leg routine I'm kicking around in my head is uh, to do my usual um, daily maxing uh, just with some slightly different uh, scheduling. So like for example, I think uh, Monday, Tuesday as an example would be front squat, no belt, followed by high bar squat, no belt, both paused uh, and kind of see what I can work up to uh, daily max wise. And then like uh, Wednesday, Thursday would be the same thing. Uh, pause, front squat, pause, high bar back squat, um, just with a belt. And then maybe Friday would be my lone low bar uh, back squat day. And then Saturday, Sunday would be um, like, just work up to like 80% of my best numbers of the week for uh, a single or double. Um, I actually uh, found this particular routine idea on a YouTube video and I was like oh that actually sounds pretty cool and running it for six weeks uh, which is what I'll be away for uh, no burglars please um, <laughs> uh, would actually be a pretty good uh, thing to run I think and uh, allow me to hopefully let some little nagging aches and pains heal up hopefully and uh, get ready for 2017 uh, which I actually think is going to be the year of working with 205 on the bench I think I'm actually gonna skip um, pushing the reps all the way up to 40 with 185 as I've been doing on the bench. I think I'm going to go up to 205. And also moving the squat up. Or, I don't, you know, that's actually up in the air still uh, with the squat because i got to see how my elbows do with the high bar squats. I, I may actually be switching over to high bar because of just the strain that low bar puts on my elbows, which is, uh, I think, one of the main contributors to the pain I'm having. But anyway, uh, talking about the bench, yeah, so this would be, the idea would be 2017 would be the year of 205 uh, that I work with uh, on the bench. And then, if all goes well, 2018, 225 will be for my paused rep work. So imagine that, like, stroking out paused reps week after week with 225. They'll definitely push my bench, uh, man, probably up, hopefully, like, 275 and maybe even higher range. That'd be great. You know, uh, now that the... Um, Tuesday takeover by the cats is complete. <laughs> um, you may be wondering where I found some of those clips, and actually, what happened was uh, there was a topic uh, that I wanted to cover, and I just wanted to verify that it was true that um, most, you know, regular house cats can jump on top of standard refrigerators, right? And um, ooh, look at that bench. Yeah. So anyway, I uh, was on the YouTube looking for. Uh, videos of cats jumping on refrigerators I happen to find some of those clips that uh, you guys are seeing uh, in my awesome Tuesday intro uh, but anyway the topic I wanted to cover about that was simply um, you know consider how small relative to us uh, house cats are you know they weigh what like eight to ten pounds and that's like if they're kind of big um, and they can leap you know what is that if they're if they're like a foot tall 
and a standard fridge is about six feet tall, they can leap practically six times over their uh, height. And whereas, you know, if they have a maximum, say, say, say they're 10 pounds total, like say they have like a maximum of like six or seven pounds of actual muscle, how in the world are they able to leap so high when we have way more muscle than that, uh, but we can't jump even, you know, once over our height, you know, a good vertical for a human is like, what, like 40 inches, uh, something like that? Well, the answer to that uh, lies in the physics, um, and good thing for you guys, most of these videos start with a uh, physics intro, so you're up to speed on your physics. You know, by the way, it's hump day, oh yeah! Um, so anyway, <laughs> the deal is, is that um, if you can think about your own uh, knee or elbow, um, your muscles that work uh, those joints attach extremely close uh, to the joint, uh, maybe like, you know, an inch below uh, maximum. Whereas on cats, uh, the muscles attach like halfway down the shin uh, on their hind legs, right? So what that means is that uh, for a given amount of muscle tension, um, the amount of torque at the joint is going to be a bazillion times higher uh, for the cats than it is going to be for us. And so what that means is that you can create um, so much more torque using less muscle tension that you can actually uh, move uh, the joint against greater resistance. And the reason I actually wanted to um, talk about this topic was that this probably explains why um, I have a very high strength to weight ratio uh, because uh, when I first got into lifting, you know, back in early high school, through high school, etc., um, I was lifted with people who outweighed me by quite a bit, yet um, I could uh, lift practically the same weights as them. Uh, when they would beat me, it would generally not be by too much. And the only thing that really explains that, considering that uh, they obviously had more muscle on their frame, is that I probably have better uh, muscle connections, uh, that are more advantageous muscle connections than they do. And in humans, you know, it, even varying by like a centimeter, uh, can make a big difference because when you actually work out the uh, uh, the physics problems, uh, you can see that a centimeter does make uh, a huge difference. So anyway, I thought that was interesting because that's the kind of thing I like to think about. But as of right now, we're gonna have to end this with mother, 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 the dodeca mother. Not really built like a cat, but built kind of like a cat. So it's been working out well for me. See you guys next week. And the volume update for this week, uh, we're up another 2,800 pounds uh, from last week. So that's a new one week, eh, one week uh, total volume record for me and total for the years now. Almost five and a quarter million. Nice. And the 2016 goals update screen. Once again, pretty standard. Uh, just updating the uh, 10K chin-ups here. We're currently at 85.48, so 85% of the way there. Haha, <laughs> getting close. And finally, the diet update for the week. Uh, pretty bang on with the calories this week. Uh, as you notice, uh, slightly uh, shifted towards carbs as opposed to fat, but that's fine. We hit the calories dead on, and the weight was up, which is good. Hope to keep that going and get huge. <laughs> you guys take care.